very quick review now because we're going to talk about a power amplifier, one that I believe is going to be a legendary one that will live in the minds and hearts of many people for years to come. That is the Shit Azir, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really au fait with my Norse pronunciation, uh, so we'll carry on with that. The Shit Azir, it's a power amp of only 20 watts. The first 10 watts is 10 class A watts and then the other 10 watts is part of their continuity circuit so it's kind of more like AB I think. The technological explanation is available online, I'm sure lots of really intelligent people will be able to give you more in the comments section and across the internet. This channel's about what things sound like so I'll stick to that. So what we've got is a relatively heavy box, it's about oh, I don't know, 15 odd kilos something like that and it's silver, it looks quite industrial, you know it looks all right, it's a power amplifier, it's not going to win any awards for fine art and design. Where it will win rewards is in its sound quality. This really does bring a lovely richness of sound. It gives you fantastic imaging and sound staging and a very emotional and engaging experience. One which I think is superb with speakers that are very sensitive. So I used it with the uh, Clips Cornwall 3s and also with the Bowers and Wilkins 705 S2 with some triangle speakers, with um, lesser, more insensitive speakers such as the uh, Kef LS50 Meta. They do work actually quite well, but on the other hand, if you try it with something like the Dyna Audio Special 40 or Revoke 20, it's all a bit dull and dreary and flat. So you do need to pick your different amplifiers for different speaker pairing matches. I would go for anything that's 88 dB and above just to be absolutely sure that it's gonna work. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for a large room where you need to pump out the volume. It'll probably end up clipping, you won't get the dynamics you want, and it will just fall a bit flat. But in a small room with the right setup, this is a brilliant power amplifier, particularly for the money. £800 is what it costs. I would say this, you know, this isn't a giant killer. It's not going to be better than something that's five grand, but certainly it's worth double what you pay for it. £800 is a fantastic bargain for what this gives you. But as I said before, get it for the right use case. Don't buy it for a, what you think would be a really insensitive speaker in a large room or pushing out, I don't know, massive floor standards that are going to need quite a bit more control of their big woofers. You can use this amplifier in two ways. The first one is as a stereo amplifier. That's the way that I've used it and used the RCAs in the back. You also notice there that it's got a uh, balanced input. Now that's just for when you use it in dual mono mode if you've got two of them as mono blocks. That's pretty cool that you can buy another one and add it into your system, put the balance between them into your preamp, and then you've got a proper fully fledged mono block system which I think is incredibly cool. Something I haven't tested, but I should imagine will up the stakes quite a bit. I know a number of different reviewers on YouTube have tried that, so seek those videos out because they'll give you a flavor of what that's like. Summarizing then, this is a fantastic amplifier in the right use case, and I would highly recommend it. It's excellent value, sounds great, and I really do love it. If you've liked this video, please do like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here very soon.